Little T for Allergy Relief. Why it works for everyone. Welcome, dear Gafila. In this video, you're gonna learn how to work with stinging nettle and tea in specifically for allergies. We're gonna cover what to do exactly, how much nettle tea to drink and why it works. Why stinging nettle is one of the best things you can do if you need a natural antihistamine and you wanna get rid of your sneezing and itching and tiredness and all of that. And if you stick with me until the end, I'm gonna share with you my secret nettle lemonade tip, which will get you ahs and ahs and mmms on any party, in any birthday party, dinner party, because very refreshing, it's great for summer and people love it and it's healthy at the same time. Now, that nettle tea works for allergy relief. I haven't just read that anywhere. You know, you might be thinking, oh, who's this chick there talking on YouTube? What's this all about? I've actually tried this out and I've been suffering with allergies for all over my childhood until my early 20s for over 15 years in total. I know how it feels like to have these itchy eyes, can't sleep, tired all day, fatigue, scratching, itching, everything swollen. It just sucks doesn't it? Now before we come to why nettle tea actually works and what happens in the body if you drink this amazing, I'm drinking this cool, this nettle tea, I want to say some greetings here from Mexico. I'm in Mexico right now. One of the things I miss the most about Europe and about the cooler climates is stinging nettle because there's no stinging nettle growing here in Mexico. It's just too hot. Stinging nettle likes temperate climates. It likes it damp, it likes it moist. And the best times to harvest if you are somewhere where there is real stinging nettle growing. I've had a lot of videos also about how to harvest stinging nettles. I'm linking them up here and also in the description below. If you want to check them out, a whole playlist just about nettles because I'm so excited about it. The best time to harvest it is in spring or in autumn. If you can get them fresh, amazing. If you're somewhere where there are no stinging nettles, then you can also order it online. I link you best products down below that I'm ordering as well because Mexico, nice and hot, but no stinging nettle. So let's talk about it, why it works for everyone. No matter if you're a kid, you're a senior or in your normal adult life, it doesn't matter, it works for everybody. I've tried this out with hundreds and hundreds of clients and myself, so be rest assured, this is a good investment if you pick it yourself or you get it from Amazon. Nettle tea for allergies. Let's go. You might have tried antihistamines for your allergies. Did you? I did. I was addicted to it because nothing else helped. And even that one, I just need a bigger dose and bigger dose. And the whole antihistamine means against histamine. Now histamine is not the bad one, it's not the bad guy, not at all. Histamine is a natural substance in your body that starts the inflammation process. Inflammation reaction in the body is really, really important. For example, if you cut yourself, then histamine is released and it actually activates the body to bring all the blood cells and to start the repairing process and also to attack any aggressors, any viruses and bacteria that might have gotten into the cut. So histamine is really, really important. However, if you're dealing with allergies, there are specific cells which have this histamine. They are called mast cells. And those mast cells, they are bursting. They are literally like all filled up with histamine. So you just touch them really slowly and they explode like an atomic bomb. Now what nettle does, because it's a natural antihistamine, you don't have the bad side effects that you have from those synthetic histamines, like the tiredness and the addiction that you just need more and more and more, and that it's actually poisoning for your body because of your liver and things like that. But you've got the good stuff. What nettle does as a natural antihistamine, it stabilizes those mast cells. The, the cell membrane of those mast cells which also help then to release less histamine. Apart from a lot of other things that it also helps your immune system, boosts your immune system, it's more stable against viruses and bacteria. I've got a whole video about where I talk about nettle benefits, literally standing in front of nettles and holding them in my hand. Well, link that up here, so have a look at that once you're done with this video. And what I want you to take away from this first part, why it works, is because your body, when you have allergies, is in an alarm mode. 24 seven, your sympathicus is very active, your adrenals are very active, it's constant flight, fight and flight mode. You might have noticed that, that you have anxiety. I had a lot of anxiety myself. You're very exhausted, although you don't do anything, you wanna sleep, but you can't. All this itching, all this redness, that's histamine as well in your tissues and nettle reduces this histamine and works as a natural antihistamine. But now, what to do, how to apply this knowledge 
change and really use nettle. Before we come to how much and how to, I would love to know from you what are you doing right now to find allergy relief. Let me know, inspire us, drop a comment down below and let me know what works for you right now. I give you three seconds to do that right now, pause the video and really do it and share your knowledge because you might help somebody else. This is all about community. I really, really believe in community and sharing. So let's support each other and don't hold back your knowledge. Okay, let's go. Remember my friend, there's a nettle lemonade recipe waiting at the end of this video. So make sure you stay with me until the end. Let's talk about how much, how to do it, how to get started. First of all, you need to know that you need a lot of nettle. If you have, if you are in the season and allergies are popping up, you need a lot, a ton of nettle. And there are other ways than just nettle tea. For example, you can add some nettle powder, I link that below, organic nettle powder. You can also, if you have it freshly available, make a nettle soup. I have a recipe down below of a video as well. Make a nettle soup, use it as a food because that's what it is. It's bursting with iron and minerals. It's literally a super nutrient dense plant that grows for free or that you can buy very affordably. It's not expensive at all. If you have the powder, make a smoothie, add one ta tablespoon per day into a smoothie. And if you have a soup, just take a bunch and watch the video and then you know what to do if you got the fresh nettles. If you like, I don't have any fresh nettles. I don't know where to get the powder. I just have some nettle tea. Perfect. Let's get started with what you got. Get the nettle tea out. It's totally fine to just start with the nettle tea, see the first results, and then you get crazy and all maniac about, I need more nettle in my life. That was me, basically. See the hair standing up? That's my nettle reaction. Sting. Start slow. When you're just starting with the nettles, it's always good. Whatever you do, start slow. I recommend to start with two cups two cups of nettle tea. Once you feel, okay, fine, my body's doing well, usually they do well, and then you can increase. Then I recommend in the morning, you boil a whole pot, and I mean like a big pot. Two liters or half a gallon would be amazing. And you just get the water in, you put one cup of dried nettle leaf that is finely mashed, we have to crush it a little bit, into those two liters or half a gallon of water. You boil it once, boil it for five minutes, let it cool down and then you strain it and you can put it in the fridge in case it's hot like here. <sighs> Cheers. Or you can leave it outside and warm it up again. But basically the idea is to drink it all day, every day. Wherever you go, instead of water, just drink your nettle tea. It's very refreshing as well. Warning up front, what you're likely gonna feel is you're gonna go more to the bathroom and that's because nettles are diuretic, but that can work in your favor because it's amazing for cleansing the body from toxins, for detoxing, the less toxins your body have, the less overstimulated, the less likely it is to go into this cascade of histamine reaction. So that's a good thing that also adds to your allergy relief in the long term. If you're one of those ladies or sometimes guys who are dealing with urinary tract infection like UTIs, bladder syndromes, bladder problems, nettle is gonna be your best friend. It's a good thing that it's just coming out. Let it come out. It takes a few days, sometimes a week, and then it stabilizes itself because the body gets used to the cleansing process and at some point you need to go less to the bathroom, okay? So those are like the warnings up front. Before we come to the nettle lemonade, I highly, highly recommend you, if you're drinking coffee at the moment and you're dealing with allergy symptoms, you have pollen allergy, ragweed, hay fever, itchy eyes, and you're looking now for the allergy relief and the nettle tea, you want to stop coffee. I know it tastes good. I know everybody does it. I like the smell too, but it's not going to help you because coffee is very aggressive for your nervous system. It's very stimulating and taxing on your adrenals who are already in fight and flight mode and who need support and need to feel safe. And nettle does exactly that. It's very grounding. It helps your adrenals to feel safe and it stabilizes your energy. Coffee does the opposite. Coffee is like living on a credit card. You want to have some backup before you start purchasing things with a credit card. All right, gut feeler friend, you really deserved the secret lemonade recipe. Here it comes. You need the following ingredients, apart from excitement, joy, and lots of love, because love always helps, doesn't it? Cold nettle tea that you already prepared because you're drinking that all day, every day from now on anyway. Then you need cold mint tea. You can also put them together, makes it easier. So mint and nettle, any kinds of mint, spearmint, peppermint, doesn't matter. Then you need green stevia powder. If you're somebody who likes the tea sweet, the only sweetener that I would recommend in this case, apart from honey, is stevia. And I'm not talking about the white processed stuff. I'm talking about the good green powder. So this is literally just the leaf. Stevia is a leaf, um, it's a plant. This is very sweet and it's not 
made from sugar. So it has a bit of a different taste, but with the ingredients in the lemonade, it really, really fits well. And even people who don't like stevia already fed them that on a birthday party here in Mexico. We had like at the beach, this whole huge beach party. And I came with my, <laughs> with my bottle of um, drink and I called it Grüne Monster Brause because she's German uh, when the kid speaks, speaks German and which basically means like green monster green monster bubble sparkling water kind of thing and the kids liked it they liked it more than the Coca-Cola and the Fanta and that's a good thing if kids like it, you will like it so we got the ingredients cold nettle tea cold mint tea stevia the good stuff never, never, never the white powder mineral water, ice cubes as an extra zest that's optional, some lemon juice. Just some squeeze some lemon juice in, mix it all together and you will be the star. Wherever you go, every party, people will ask you and it's good for your allergies and for everybody else's. Love you to bits. I see you soon, Gat Fila. And make sure you let me know in the comments below what are you doing right now to find allergy relief, apart from drinking lots of Grüne Monster Brause.